No, old school folks look at that and go, I don't need nothing to carry to put this stuff out. I'll just sweep it out. It'll be all right. Yeah, don't classify dad as that. You guys will get in an argument, and I don't want that. So let's just. <laughs> I can't say I'd do the same thing, you know. It'd be like, okay, bus's all done. And then turn around and. Well, it's just it it's just been proven that sawdust is very harmful to your lungs. So. Uh, this is the modern world. Everything is harmful. I mean, she has a point. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, World of Warcraft is harmful. Mm. If you do it too much, yes. Any Anything can be harmful to you if you overdo it, right? There's a lot of people well, that do overdo it. <laughs> well, I don't... Anyway. Yeah, so where are we going? Oh, uh, <laughs> where where are we going? Uh, is it Stone, Stone Talon? Proof of Lies? Is that where we are? Yeah, start? I think Proof of Lies is what we're doing. Yeah. So yes, the so Sludgeworth yeah. Stone Talon is where we're headed. Because <coughs> we've got those other things, but those were... Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I sometimes have to log on here and just get those things done because they confuse me every single time I log on. It's like, wait a minute, why are those there? Oh, right, we made that decision and they're still in my log. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, there's a flight path over there? Yeah. So which flight path? I thought we were going to Sludge Works. Yeah, to the Sludge Works. There is a flight path to the Sludge Works. That's where I'm going no, right now. No, I know now. that one. I was I was looking at Thaldera uh, Grove. I didn't know if there was one over there. I'd already taken off and headed to the Sludge Works. Yeah, me too. Okay. Sludge Works, here we come. I'm pretty sure we have to go from the... Or no, there might be... Where was that one? You're right. It might be closer. There's one at Cliff Walker Post, yeah. which is further, further northwest. That's probably uh, where we. We'll figure it out when we land. Yeah, because we've at least still traveled, but because yeah, Cliff Walker Post, we'd have to, because that's a round. Of, so yeah, we do need to go up to Cliff Walker Post is where we needed to go. Yeah, that's just a short jolt. Yeah. So we land and then take off again. Yeah. It's been a bit because it's been two weeks since we've dealt with this specific plot line. Mm -hmm. <laughs> True. Yeah, how do you fly one of these things again? <laughs> you stick a firecracker in their butt. No, that's how oh. you get off of Cliff Walker Post. <laughs> oh, no. yes. yeah, that's right. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, yeah. So we have to go back down. Yeah, we have to take the elevator and then... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to the other side. I have the strangest suspicion as soon as I get there. It's just going to go down. Yep, yep, I was right. <laughs> you learn the rhythm of these things at some point. <laughs> mm hmm Can you make it, hun? Woo! I can levitate. Of course I would make it. <laughs> One way or another, I would get to the bottom. <laughs> Uh, was it supposed to be go down the hill and then? Uh, I think so. Is there a path over there? There's a path over there. Okay. Oh, there's always a path, but is there ground attached to that path? True. You see <laughs> the I see the volcano in the distance. Uh, is it where? where? Right there. You see its little flaming orange. <laughs> Way off in the distance. I just thought it looked cool. Ooh, squirrel. 
Yeah, we're facing the right direction. We just got to keep going this way. Ooh, ten. <laughs> I should have figured there'd be some nearby because we were right outside of a mine. running around right, here's a grave yeah if they got a weapon here it backfired <laughs> at the top oh there's another <laughs> mm -hmm. okay we're very <laughs> familiar with this because you this is one of the first things you encounter it when you start playing a uh, night elf oh okay gotcha hey who the heck where did he come from Ooh, he's a rare. that that might be what made all of them now proceed to be laying in the ground <laughs> Druid corpses litter the room. Something seems amiss. As you see no signs of struggle, bloody drag marks lead from the doorway. You pry Orthus's dead grip open to find something disturbing in his hand. A crumb guard general's insignia. Insignia. There we go. <laughs> take, take the crumb guard general's insignia back to the high chieftain cliff walker. There's got to be a flight path down here. <laughs> no way we've got to go all the way back there. <laughs> see one I don't know it's close enough to where it might have oh. Oh. I mean unless it's up in that tower but then there'd still be an exclamation mark over it, right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. <laughs> I was halfway down and I'm like, oh yeah, I need to levitate. No, that's nectar water. Oh crap. <laughs> then I hit I hit levitate about one second before the ground and didn't die. Hmm. Well, fair enough. If this is constant running back and forth, this is going to be one of those annoying ones. <laughs> I want to think Thaldar has a flight path. It's not on the map. It could be one of those phased in instances. Mm. Like we'll get it later, but not to start with. 
Yeah, we may have to end up curing the crazy. You know? That's completely possible. <laughs> well, I mean, we haven't figured out how to do that in real life yet, so. Uh, yeah, there is that. I mean, look at me. Woo! <laughs> Just made it. <laughs> yeah, we might as well come around to this. Are you just gonna wait? I'm just gonna wait. I'm not an impatient person most of the time. <laughs> try, try not to be. <coughs> I do not always succeed. Sorry, that's not my microphone. <laughs> uh, sure you did. It was a word or three. Well met. Wouldn't it? <laughs> he was a good boy, young, loving. He would have never killed any of the young druids. They were his friends. No, not Orthus. The general must have must be called to answer for this crime. I will have justice. May the eternal sun shine upon thee. Oh. Yeah, this is about to get fun. <laughs> Bar fight. Yep, we're about to be caught right in the, the middle bar. of it. Yep. Miserable son of a pig. I'm going to have to remember that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at him blatantly admitting it. <laughs> oh, well, now we've just got to fight him because him's fighting words. <laughs> <laughs> Well met. <laughs> Perhaps if you spoke to Overlord Cromgar, go. <laughs> <laughs> Quit walking away. I know you're distraught, but I need to read this. <laughs> Perhaps if you spoke to Overlord Cromgar, maybe he would listen to what you had to say. You are a champion in his army, after all. You saw everything. Please help us. We simply wish to be left alone in peace. Talk to Overlord Cromgar and try to help him see what that we did not mean for any of this to happen. Be careful. Well, here we go again. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> you gotta take the scary rocket ship. This one works, though, at least, so. <laughs> Hail. So we're headed where? From Gar Fortress. Well, I'm 
going to have to take a five minute break here because I got to call mom. She just called and left this freaking voicemail. Call me as soon as you get this message. So I don't know what the hell's going on. Okay. stuff for you, Lee, if I'm not mistaken. I? Let me check to be sure, because I may have given them to you already. Well, I've got watermelon and bananas. Do you need those? <laughs> I cannot cook or do it. Those are ready-made edibles. Yeah, I had a feeling they were, but just in case, I checked. Once you do that, I'll show you what I can make in my engineering. <laughs> Blood and thunder. Oh, I do have some cloth for you. I knew there was something. <laughs> Always love cloth. Five <laughs> I had to, well, I had to politely get on to her. Her message, as I told her, I said, you care, you, you scared the S out of me. <laughs> and all it was is they lost the freaking remote to the, to the Roku TV. <laughs> what? Is that yeah, is... I'm like, w I can't do anything. She goes, no, can you order another one? I'm like, I don't know, probably. <laughs> but then that's when I told her, I said, you just scared the crap out of me i thought something was really wrong and she was like oh i'm sorry but they've looked everywhere under the chairs and everything and they think they accidentally knocked it off into the garbage sack and onita's already taking the garbage off today mm. okay. farewell oh, quit, quit walking off <laughs> speak dang it <laughs> You have done well to report this crime. The perpetrators of this heinous act will be punished. There will be blood. I will need a new general now that Gre Grebo is dead. You shall take his place. Yay, we're generals! Um, <laughs> meet me at Cliffwalker Post, General. Together we will end this nonsense. Strength! How do you like what I can do now? Oh, it's a construct. Look at it. Nice. An explosive sheet. Yes. Very nice. They're they are fun as engineering. It's just fun. Lokta. Mm. I'm probably gonna let mine go more gnomish. I, I, I swear I added mining to her that way I could get the um, appropriate materials. I've not seen one vein since I added mining to her. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know if I'm just not in the right areas or what, but. Uh, sometimes you end up in an area where higher level folks, they'll swoop in and they just gather it up, put it on the auction house. Mm. You know, <clears throat> you want to know what's spooky? What? I just brought up the Amazon app on my phone and I typed in TCL in the very top thing was TCL Roku TV remote. <laughs> now, the conspiracy theorist out there would say, see, see, it's listening to you. Although, but, uh, no. can, can I be it for once? Because I'm normally the guy that's the other way around. Can I be the logical oh, one yeah. in this? Everyone loses the freaking remote. Those things are lo losable as crap. Have you seen the size of that thing? <laughs> I know, I've got two of them. <laughs> 
I've, I've got, got one, one for each one of the TV, so. Because remember, yeah. we had signed up for Sling or something. They had gotten a Roku off of it, and I, they didn't need it, so they gave it to me. So it's my Roku that I had connected to my television up at my place. But as, as soon as I looked at that remote, I went, God, this is losable. <laughs> mm hmm Now, see, the creative type here, I would just get a nice piece of uh, sticky Velcro. And just put it to the side of the thing where you couldn't lose it and then just pull it off when you needed it? Yep. That's actually pretty smart. <laughs> I do that with the calculators at work. Ooh. on the slide drawer because people keep losing them and I got tired of the losing right. well you know what's funny they actually sell a holster for the thing it's called the the RC280 remote control fit hmm. it's at 8 bucks smart yeah. okay, uh, are we all here where, 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 yeah where are we doing what are we doing here? yeah we're at the we? balloon we meeting want? the chieftain there. Yeah, there's this gold uh, question mark. Is that what that is? You know, I've always wondered. I've been playing WoW since '04, <laughs> and I've always wondered what these question marks were for. I, I'm so glad. What is today? July? July 6? <laughs> when did you? You know how those memes are. When did you first learn X? When did you first learn that the golden question mark was where you turned in a quest in uh, WoW? Uh, July 6, 2019. <laughs> Stand by uh, me and watch as our mighty weapon destroys our enemies. Learn what it means to be Horde. Victory. Watch now, Cliff Walker, as this battle comes to its glorious conclusion. You are about to cross a terrible threshold, Kromgar. May the Earth Mother have mercy on your soul. Yeah, I want to know who does the voice acting for him because it's awesome. Mm. I'm sure there's a wiki for that. There usually is. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. Metzen pretty much just does thrall. Yeah. Which is hilarious I mean, he, that now Metzen they, goes I mean, into retirement and thrall comes out of retirement. But anyway. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. I mean, they still bring him back to do that, so... <laughs> wow, that's a crater. Yeah. Look that upon is. the world, Cliff Walker, and see the might of the Horde. What have you done, Krumgar? Oh dear. The uh -oh. boss is here. <laughs> I was carrying out your command. My command? Was my command to murder innocents, Kromgar? War chief! <coughs> Sir, I... Am I a murderer, Kromgar? Yes. No! War chief! Then I ask you again, what have you done? I sent you into Stone Talon Mountains with an army. Your orders were to secure this land for the Horde. Instead, you laid waste to the land, murdered innocents, children even. See, we have honor on our side. <laughs> I spent a very long time in Northrend, Kromgar. For now. I learned much about the Horde in that time. While there, a wise old war hero told me something that I would carry with me forever. Honor, Kromgar. No matter how dire the battle, never forsake it overlord kromgar you have disgraced the horde you I have brought shame to us as a people toss him off the bridge please toss him off the bridge i right was thinking it too i hereby relieve you of duty that's what he's doing oh sweet you see you back dismissed that is so oh, yeah. cool and you 
Wait, War Chief. Please. This is the hero responsible for uncovering this corruption. This one tried to stop Kromgar. Have mercy, War Chief. Mercy? Your wife and child were murdered. Your kin wiped out. Your home burned to the ground. Mercy. Chieftain, on this day, I learn from you. Kromgar's army is no more. Your rank no longer has meaning. If you wish to truly help the Horde, your considerable power could be used in Desolus or in the Southern Barrens. The choice is yours to make. Let honor guide you. Do not forget that Hellscream's eyes are always upon you. That was pretty cool. <laughs> yes. Ah, oh, I've been expecting you. Nice. But yet we still have the general thing. Hail. There's nothing left for you here. As for me, I must lay Mesha's body to rest. Once I have done that, I will go to the bombing site and begin the process of regrowth. Perhaps one day a new grove will bloom, a grove infused with the spirit of my child and the fallen night elf, elf youths. If you wish to travel to Desolus, I hear word of a blood elf named Firin seeking adventuring partners. Perhaps you should seek him out. Farewell, friend. I will never forget you. Oh. And they are all the way down there. Nothing left for you here. So we take the elevator and take a long journey. <laughs> Is that really the best way? Uh, you gotta get down there. Yeah, do we have a flight path? We don't, I don't think. No, I was just looking to see if you could fly into Sunrock Retreat in Stone Talon if there was a, a way because there's a road down there, but I don't know where it all goes. Right. I mean, I'll go wherever y'all want to go. Because this is map, this is maps and wow. <laughs> this is how that annoyingly works. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think that the road leads down there, and that ten that seems to be what that's suggesting to me, anyway. So. Yeah, I can see. Once you get past Battlescar Valley, it is just a, a basic roadway that enters and goes down into Desolus. So we cut over this way to that road? Is that what we're doing? Mm. Or are we... Coming yeah, down then and there's hitting. us. Oh, actually, it looks no, like we come we down the this other way. Path here. Yeah, go down this yeah. way. This yeah. way. Means we have to go right past the crater. That's why there wasn't a flight path down there. It's a crater now. <laughs> snake still hanging out yep <laughs> i noticed it too <laughs> <laughs> yeah i already got one so you live <laughs> hmm. you can see the volcano in the distance now oh yeah looks like a hot spot <laughs> <laughs> that 
That was the sound of several people thinking of several jokes and wondering which one they go with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Interesting note about Desolus. It is the only place that you can get an armadillo, a stone armadillo, and only at night. Of course. <laughs> I know, I stalked one to get one. <laughs> and then several to get blue ones. Mm, so stalked. I like achievements. I'm weird that way. I have a name for you. <laughs> yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> Completionist. <laughs> Overachiever, right? That's mm. the word you were looking for. Oh, the word achievement is definitely in the name. <laughs> yeah, but we're in polite company, so it's overachiever. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. So I've been playing this RPG, and there's a reason why this fits in. You'll get it in a second. But it doesn't tell you where the next turn-in points for your quest are, because it was like a game that came out in like 2007 or something like that. Uh huh. So we had did, that wasn't really commonplace at that point. And then I thought about WoW Classic and went, God, if I ever try that, <laughs> I'll be roaming oh, around for a large amount of time. <laughs> yeah, but it, it was fun. In a bizarre and strange way, fun. Now, you see, I was wondering why it was called Desolus whenever there was all this, <laughs> all this yeah, greenery it, around, and then it suddenly became obvious. Well, pre-Cataclysm, all of it was like this, but now there's a huge section of it that's been uh, terraformed. Mm. Whee! Free ride! Rickley Furin beckons you near and struggles to speak. Careless, I was shot down by Alliance fire. You must inform my sister. Take my mount. He'll bring you to her. And then I guess since he expires, I have to... <clears throat> there. <laughs> to do an appropriate them dying because <laughs> that's how everyone dies in this game <laughs> mm -hmm. dramatically i think the little bit of allergies actually helped with that one <laughs> i think i think it did oh my god there's a storm armadillo down there yes or a stone rather Keep that business in mind. Go back there and get one later. <laughs> I thought those only came out at night. Yeah, I know. She said the at night thing. That's why I was surprised. I was like, wait, what, what's one doing here then if it's not nighttime? <laughs> Ooh, flight path. Okay. Chamalama ding dang. Victory lies ahead. This cannot be, my dear brother, slain by Alliance scum. They must be made to suffer. I find a way to bring them to pain. I shall not rest until it is so. Furion had been researching ancient artifacts in the eastern regions before his death. Speak to Sorum. Perhaps he can direct you in my brother's footsteps. Keep your wits about you. Your gold is welcome here. It is true that Furin dedicated his last days to the special research project. What that was, he would not share with me. Fortunately, I was able to recover his journal, but it's written in a code that I cannot decipher. Perhaps there's a clue to its translation in the region to the east where he spent his time. Take the journal, warrior, and speak with Naramar when you are ready to investigate this mystery. Remember the Sunwell. Which is the flight dude. 
Oh, there's a desert spider over there. Hold on. <laughs> get the desert spider. <laughs> well, I got new critters I got to deal with. <laughs> you do that. I'm gonna call mom real quick and tell her I can have her one there by Monday. Yep. Okie dokie. Uh, of course, it's got regeneration with bites. That's, that's what spiders do. Oh, yeah. They also like locking you in place so you can't go anywhere. Oh, dang it. I knocked the spider out. I didn't mean to do that. It's the only thing with this moth is that sometimes it attacks twice and you can't quite control it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Probably should have used Cogswell. He's got a bit more control to him than the other ones do. Bird decided to pick a fight while you were battling. <laughs> Appreciated. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll keep I'll keep an eye out for some more while we're at it. Uh, I'm sure another well, one will crop we're, up. Yeah, we're just waiting on Donovan to finish his phone call. Yeah. Means I can walk around close. What's that? Oh, a rock viper. Fine, let's go for that then, shall we? Uh, let's see here. Uh, collections. Cogswell at the front instead of. <coughs> Poison. There we go. Uh, plus, that puts him out too, so he's now following me. Honey, he gave Ariel the thing and she said, aww, honey. Yay. <laughs> Shoot. I need to make a weaker team for this character. Well, this area that we're in is sevens, eights, nines. Vita. I'm starting to get buffered. It's me. Sure. Move around, huh? <laughs> is it you or is it Memorex? <laughs> well, I mean, your stream's not buffering, so. You're fine. Twitch has been oh, interesting no, lately, know. apparently. A pack of hyenas. Lovely. <laughs> yeah, I need to make myself a level 7 crew specifically for this character, especially considering I downloaded a freaking extension for that very reason. <laughs> Okay. All right, so we're supposed to take the 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 the, the flight. Oh yeah. Yeah. Come along, a ding dang. Baladash, Malanor. The reckoning has been at hand for quite some time. Salama Ashalanore. <laughs> Safe travels, monk, priest, paladin, warrior. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere in here that is added on to it. I think I might have to get with Devin and ask him about one of my Twitch accounts. 
I have changed the email address on it like three times, and it keeps telling me, hey, you need to verify this email address. I hit send. I never get the email. Huh. Hmm. Okay, now I found it, of course, as we land. I'll do it later. But <laughs> <laughs> of course. There's a tablet here. Ooh, look, it's got out. It's got iOS on it. Uh, <laughs> 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 Ooh, I like the nice detail because it's on a tablet. It's got a different background than the other things do. Mm -hmm. uh, you can decipher bits and pieces of the text, but it will require extensive study before Furion's work becomes coherent. For now, as you look off to the northeast, you think you can make out some of the ruins depicted in the journal. From what you can tell, these ruins seem to have been some uh, some significance to Furin's research. Ancient tablets at the Shrine of Elune have directed you to visit three of the prominent ruins in Sargon. Okay. Did someone go after some uh, ore? <laughs> Maybe. Probably. Maybe. It was a dot. It tasks me. Oh, it does it? Yeah. You know, I'm like Khan. <laughs> yeah, we got the reference. We didn't have to. <laughs> <laughs> we too are nerds. When did you learn that, that your wife and, and good friend are nerds? July 6th. <laughs> And you're just bringing all kind of honey. Your milkshake really brings them to the yard. Uh, Don't mind that. And the warrior having to play cleanup. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, this week we old... had to fight a gigantic crocodile in D and D, and I went, "Ooh, a crocolisk." <laughs> Because <laughs> the description immediately made me think of that. <laughs> I showed him an image of it and I went, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Probably. Oh, you did make it up there. Yeah, found a friend. Certainly did, and I can't seem to make it up. Oh, there we go. <laughs> So who are these random people? <laughs> I get some crusaders. They're actually one of the big predominant groups you had to fight down here initially. Back in the good old days. That's what the thing said your eye gets caught to whenever we turned it in. I must have it. Finally something to rush upon then. <laughs> Everything had been too close up this time. <laughs> yeah. And you hit him in the back. Mm. <laughs> Satisfying. <laughs> Honey, what perfume are you wearing today? Uh, <laughs> Ode to Seder? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Alright, so we have one. No. We have two more of these. Yeah, this oh. perfume I'm wearing is called She Don't Stink. <laughs> okay, we have to go up there. Somewhere. 
You know, I called and left mom a voicemail, a, a voicemail, voice message, mail, yeah, whatever, <laughs> answering machine, because she does, it's not a cell phone. Right. And I specifically said, do not call me until after 12. Guess who's calling me? <laughs> of course. I don't know, maybe she's calling. We found it! I told I told her in the message she needs two of them anyway, so I'm just going to send one. back at you. Okay, I'm still gonna have to make the other one. I had a suspicion that's what was gonna happen. I made that new team I told you about because we had the chat you had the tiny little chance for it. And I thought, well, I haven't made this team. I'll bet you. Yep, it totally <laughs> took that team out of my roster like I was needing it to anyway. I'll just have to build it later. <laughs> Ooh, and this one's gold because it's a gold surface. I love these details. It's going to be an utter pain to read, though. <laughs> mm -hmm. yep. According to Furion's journal, this ancient brazier was placed here for the performing of sacrifices. As far as you can make out from the entry, a blessing is bestowed upon the being who places the flesh of Elun's enemies on the brazier's burning embers. Looking around, you determine that the satyrs who now possess, possess this region would likely qualify. <laughs> How convenient. <laughs> I know, right? It's like it was handcrafted for us. Yeah. Imagine that. A target. <laughs> just the idea of a like, well, normally I just do this for leather working, but uh, cut some flesh off. Why not? <laughs> so we have to put the sabers in the loon's can mate as we collect them. thinking. Target. I do not have a target. I know you don't have a target. I killed it. <laughs> hey, what level uh, shield do you have? Me? Yeah. Uh, I just picked up this. 33. Oh, okay, what you got is probably better then, because I got, I picked a level 32 Dogo by wooden <laughs> shield. <laughs> so yeah, we've got to collect the swords and the sabers, but... How many of each do we have to get? 20 or? I'm not sure. Our first 10 pieces. Yeah. Of... 20 sabers, 10 flesh. Oh, I yeah. I think Definitely. you can turn, you can't turn anything in until you have them all, right? Okay. Yeah. And yeah, the thing is, offers 10 pieces of satyr flesh and places 20 sabers. Saber. So once we have those, then we can use them as action commands and get that done. Gotcha. So, so we just gotta walk around murdering fools until we... <laughs> yeah. Yep, pretty much. I mean, let's see. Number two is because we have one more sanctuary to we do, and I assume that's another thing we have to collect for, so we may want to go there. That way we can activate all of them and find out what the other thing is. Did 
that? Or are you already up here? I took a shortcut and you get offered a uh, quest. Get up here to instead of selecting oh. the thing itself it pops up oh i said it didn't it, it finally propped for me once i walked around the marking on the markings on the sargon ruins combined with that that you've gleaned from furin's text make one thing clear there is something special about the old fountain in the sanctuary of Elun. it would seem that one would expect special power from washing their face in the fountain first of course there would need to be something in the ancient fountain with which to watch one Pondering this problem, you spot a melon fruit at the base of a nearby tree. You must gather eight melon fruit and squeeze their juices into the cup of a loon at Sargon. So, <laughs> murder ciders and collect fruit. Hooray. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so I can keep track of what I've got. I didn't have anything for me other than silver. I'll take it. <laughs> Do not have a target. Wow, that that, that one went by, down quick. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Didn't even have time to press the buttons. Oh, this is gonna be one of those where someone picks it up and it vanishes. <laughs> mm. <laughs> hey, Seder, I'm just over here trying to trying to play with some rocks. Leave me alone. Wait, what? engineer. <laughs> Mallards in the background. Ducky? 
plural. Oh. Duckies? <laughs> Duckies? Doctor? <laughs> Captain. 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 <laughs> yes. Oh, you got Stinker! That is so cool! Oh, so it's a pet I got as a bonus? As it's an achievement pet. Oh. Yeah! Oh, okay. I knew it was blue, and I was like, wait, achievements have levels now? <laughs> Congratulations! Yeah, while you guys have actually been working on the quest, I've been <laughs> doing that, so... Probably woefully behind. <laughs> All right. Oh, we're here to have fun. Oh, yeah. I'm here to kick tail and chew bubble gum. I'm all out of bubble gum. <laughs> I'm all out of tail. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Oh. We may have to rethink this marriage. Oh. <laughs> I thought to myself funny. <laughs> How can you tell that there's a shaman around? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Totems? Yeah. <laughs> had to carry your totems around in your bag and you had to deploy them one by one. Yes. Good lord. <laughs> then and they eventually changed it where it was no longer a thing in your bag and it was a one button deploy. So, needless to say, there were mods for Shaman at that point that actually allowed you to hit a button and deploy them all without having to go one, two. <laughs> and each one had a different significant level within it. Mm -hmm. And based on what spec you were, you actually had different types of totems, didn't you? Now, I think that's where you... You could, you had to pre-choose what kind of totem you wanted to throw down. Yeah, because you had like, I think, I, I keep remembering one called Rock Biter or something like that, which yeah. actually made everybody's weapons, like in a group, it made everybody's weapons hit harder and that kind of stuff. And then there's a healing totem. <laughs> Someday I might do a shaman, I don't know. They're kind of fun. I just... They're kind of taxing to the classic ones. The classic one is hard as... It's hard AF, but... <laughs> uh, well, so yeah. is a classic Pally and a classic Warlock. Okay, classic Pallies were useless. They had no utility. They were crap. And that has been a subject... Unless you really, really knew how to play one. It's like what they talked about on the instance. Everybody wanted they they wanted a basically a healing warrior, and uh, you really couldn't do that with a paddle. Don't worry, a priest unless she was a holy priest was oh really? <laughs> Aren't you pretty? What are you talking about? Oh, classic priest. Oh, that, those those two things were connected. Okay, for for some reason there was enough of a pause in it to where I went, wait a minute, what 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 got your attention? And then I realized, oh no, you meant the. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, squirrel. Yeah. Oh, 
whatever it is that he's battling. I heard the death of a frog. Or... I don't have a single melon anywhere. <laughs> I've got my sabers and I've got my pizza. Okay, I have 10 flesh and 13 sabers. I need one more flesh and I've got 15 sabers. Hey, I found a volunteer. <laughs> I've got eight. Yes. Oh, I found someone who volunteered me. Oh. So one of my favorite phrases in a magic stage show I ever saw was, Come here, you've just been voluntold. <laughs> oh, voluntold. Oh. I like that. It's perfect for whatever you don't have anyone that wants to come up on stage. You just grab someone and tell them they've been voluntold. <laughs> Excellent. It is too old. That ranks right up there with saying, pick a card. And then as soon as they go for one, no, not that one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh huh. Pick the one that's got the little dot on the back. <laughs> oh, I forgot to loot. Oh, look at you providing backup. <laughs> Doesn't work, but you might have a target, <laughs> you know. A for effort. <laughs> That's why they call them the tricksters. Yep. Okay. Six more blades. <laughs> I have enough sabers and I've got enough flesh. Now I just get to get some melons. Cease. One off in the distance at least. So. Yeah, I gotta get three more. A target. sure what that was he was riding <laughs> it was big <laughs> it, yep it was big <laughs> by the way I've got I've I've acquired a horny toad so whenever I get the chance I'm gonna name him Pete <laughs> you got it didn't you <laughs> I have to honestly say, no, I did not get it. They loved him up and turned him into a hornitoad. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> and now he gets it and he's annoyed. <laughs> that's, that's... <laughs> this is what we do, isn't it, Lee? We just do jokes that annoy Donovan. <laughs> yeah, they're fun. <laughs> I'm easily annoyed. <laughs> yeah, we know. Um... <laughs> that's the fun. <laughs> Welcome to the Saturday Morning Wow stream, a.k.a. Annoy Donovan. I mean, to be fair, any other content on this network, usually everyone tries to annoy me, so it's a nice change of pace. <laughs> oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. I understand. <laughs> Need another melon. <laughs> Melons are the only thing I need now. I need six of those. Okay, I have need of five more weapons and all the melons. You haven't been picking up any melons? Well, they're not exactly plentiful, I've noticed. <laughs> yeah, there's already been another crew out here. Yeah, we had two other people roaming around for a second there, so they probably picked them up a lot. And I kept stealing all the ones I could see. They're hard to see, too. Like, they'll blend right into the grass if you don't watch oh, yeah. them. Right. Well, there's two up here, so I'm going to grab my last one, and then that way I'm not buying for. Yeah, there's one, one up here. I'll make my fourth. I think there's another one. Now I can't see them easily unless I walk up on them. Right, because they're not <laughs> glowing anymore. Mm -mm. I mean, even with the glow, it's hard to see them, so. Yeah. And see, what's funny is in Classic, there was no, no back glow. glow. Yeah, of course. I, I knew that's exactly what you were about to say. <laughs> It, it, it would be fun for just one one-off of how salty is Samuel going to get through the course of this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's already available in your launcher. Mm. You just drop down <clears throat> when you go to the, the WoW screen. There's a drop down so that you can choose like PTR. Well, Classic's in there now. You can go ahead and It'll download the game for you, but every time I've tried to go in, it keeps telling me there aren't any servers available. So. Yeah. yeah. They sometimes have opened it up for a pressure test where everyone jumps yep. in and sees, but otherwise. Well, the last thing I heard was they had opened it up for like a week because that's how I found out you could go ahead and it was in your, your Battle.net client if you had already updated the client. Mm. Uh, a volunteer. <laughs> Again. It is too far away. <laughs> Volunteered for a floor facial. <laughs> yes, he did. Well, you know, certain minerals. I'm, I'm sure it would be beneficial. <laughs> Especially with their skin. <laughs> no, he says the truth. That combination skin, man. Oh, I can tell you is moisturize. <laughs> <laughs> of course, with these guys, it wouldn't hurt if they use a little soap and water. <laughs> yeah, there's mm. one. You want to start yours, Lee? Ah, uh, there it is. Thank you. No problem. Okay. I have one. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, I still have to get one more weapon. Well, I found some volunteers down here. Yeah. Thunderclap is fun, but I hardly get to use it. <laughs> 
Okay, I have all the weapons, all the meat. I just need melts. Yep. And one just showed up. So now we only need, we don't actually need to fight these guys unless they get in our way. Right. So it's not much. like they're going to drop melons. That I mean, would be, be interesting. It'd be nice, but no. <laughs> I'm not sure I'd want them. <laughs> I mean, yes, they're ju the melons juice will then be used to splash in our face, so we might want to be picky for once. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, a yeah, little bit. Okay, there's three. Three what? Melons? Yeah, I've already picked up. Oh, you, okay. Thought you meant you spied three. I was like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> well, wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, snuck up a bond. <laughs> Oh well, I guess I have no choice. I'm just gonna have to kill him. <laughs> yep. He signed his death warrant when he snuck up on you. the hate furies I also don't like because they're the ones that pull the imps out or it's one of the other ones but you're fighting and all of a sudden the ground starts pulsating and I just started running <laughs> okay there's my last melon yeah I've got everything now Mugs running around too. Mm -hmm. Icing everything. <laughs> Get off our lawn. This is our place. Ice Mage has been fun so far, though. <laughs> yeah, they are. A target. <laughs> The dude trying to sneak. melons in a basket that's a large basket I don't <laughs> I'm telling you. Well, the truth? depends on what size the melons are mm. okay i have seven i know where your last one is if you will if you find me on the map every time i rotate there's tree branches in my face <laughs> I need to get closer. Okay. Yeah, 
target. I found one. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yay! I have my numbers. Woot. Okay, we are here by the one place where we put the flesh on it. Do you want to meet us there, and then we'll go place by place? I am. Get yourself. It is too far away. Oh, yeah, these are the ones I hate because of the burning minion. Oh, disciple of a loon? Really? Wow. Okay, that's interesting. Ooh, sparkly. Mm. Oh, right, we've got to activate it. Okay. The Divine Brazer indiscriminately endows you with a blessing. <laughs> Health increased by 15% while in Desolus. Oh, it's a repeatable quest. All right, so the sabers require the handmaiden. Uh, you find it most amusing to think that this ancient relic is bestowing upon you a blessing meant for your enemies. <laughs> True. Did y'all pick up the satyr flesh again? No. Yeah, I'll probably drop it. Because it's only, I mean, it's a repeatable if you, just to get the... Right. Divine endow endowment, so... Yeah. Yeah, we can't abandon it. Since we've got All it. right. So we need to go to the Twin Uh, Yes, that's up the hill. It's closest, so that'll work. Somebody like the way you smell. Apparently. Can't take a priest anywhere, they drag with them. <laughs> They're all aggro. So which one are we tossing in here? You right click on the melons. No, it's all, I just yeah, wasn't sure which one we were. The melons. The melons. After filling it with your liquid from the melons, you proceed to wash your eyes from the ancient font. Upon opening your eyes, you are able to see the spirits of ancient elves still faithfully carrying out rituals to their goddess. You ponder the significance of this revelation and determine to study Furin's research for more clues. Something has changed, perhaps a side effect of Elune's cleansing ritual. While by no means perfect yet, your understanding of the ancient language in the journal has vastly improved. The ruins in the north northern mountains of Sargon appear to be the main focus of Furin's enthusiasm. Something there, he felt, would aid him in driving the Alliance from this region. You close the journal, determined to find and ruin find this ruin and discover its secrets. Alright, we gotta go back and find Elune's uh, handmaiden statue. Yeah, it's down there at that other one. I can see it. We just have to make our way to it.
brushed his teeth this morning. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh. oh. Yeah, it's the one off in the distance there. What are we doing? We just felt like it. Because <laughs> as soon as you mount up, guess what? You have a target. No, that's the... Okay, where did we... That's the one yeah. over there. Found girdle. <laughs> Mine's a guilt. <laughs> a guilt? Well, it's not spelled like guilt, it's just G I L T. Ah. Uh. Okay. Let's go to the other ruins. Smack my pony's bootay. <laughs>
Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Every time you say that, I just don't know. you from this guy. <laughs> Target. <laughs> okay, the ruins of her palace. Is that where we're going? Yep. Or ruins all becoming clear? It's yep. up here, right? It's yeah, clear. it's up here. Hit him once, knocked him off his feet. <laughs> that. I need to get close. Target. Mm, well, everybody needs is some wild hog shank. <laughs> That in some good turnip I do not have a target. A little bit of cornbread. Nothing says southern like hog shake, turnip greens, cornbread. <laughs> yep. <laughs> target. I used to fight that as a kid. Now I'm like, why do I feel so stupid? <laughs> It's all clear to you now why you were why you were guided here. You recognize this ancient rune stone from Furion's final journal entry. The ancients revered the gems created by the, this mystical object, claiming that they were gifts from the goddess herself. It was believed that they were weapons capable of delivering them from any enemy. You are now able to understand the script in which the journal was written. Along the rune stone, it's explained that the monument's gemstones were imbued with the power to summon a firestorm. The storm could grow to be a mighty weapon e either through sustained worship of a loon or charged by spiritual energies of the fallen. Looking down upon the newly revealed ghost of a loon's disciples, you reason that you have neither the time nor the inclination to worship the goddess of your enemy. <laughs> um, you are to create a raging vortex by defeating seven disciples of a loon in the presence of your firestorm. Should you lose your vortex gem, another can be obtained by the ancient vortex runes now. So now the we area have... is down here. Yep. That'll work. I swept him off his feet. Yeah, until he gets hit. Target. Okay. Get ready to do more 
protect. Do not have a target. Uh, what am I doing wrong? So I keep trying to figure out where mine. Cause y'all got them out. I think I got it. We have to keep destroying the disciples in order to fuel this until it becomes yeah. raging. Keeps getting in the way. Fire starter. It is done. Well, mine is. Did y'all? Not yet. Oh. <laughs> Mine's raging. Do I have a target? Now we just have to let Lee kick enough balloon worshipper butt to where she gets it too, and we'll be good to go. In a case of trying to. I got one coming down. Well, yep, here she comes. Let's get her. Ah! Yeah, there are some up there. Now we have to use it up at Nigel's point. You cannot help but feel a twinge of pride having unlocked this long-lost secret to the of the ancient worshippers of Alun. You now possess the power to inflict great damage upon your enemy. As it was Furin's timeless work that made this possible, it only seems right that this weapon should be unleashed upon those that took his life. The Alliance scum at Nigel's Point shall pay for their offenses against the Horde. So we have to 
kill Nigel's Point defenders and Nigel's Point merchants. Yerk. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna fight since you just died. I do not have a target. Defenders and merchants are the ones we need to kill right now. But we may have to get past the guards to get to the defenders and merchants. Oh, toss it down. It takes over. Are we having to even click this button down here, or? Yeah, because it, if, because you don't incinerate them otherwise, I don't believe. You pick them up, and then you got to, there we go. go. That's how they pick it. Okay, I yeah. figured it out. Because I would click it when I had, didn't have anybody below me, and it'd say, invalid target. Yeah. You have to click the person like you're going to attack them and then click the button. Or one, because it's going to be easier. I'm not even targeting. Yeah, I'm just spamming. Yeah, I'm just sitting here clicking the one button. I got 23 out of 40 and 5 out of 15 so far. Unfortunately, there really is no skill to this. Yeah, and the ones you guys are incinerating are not counting for me, so. I think it's because we're all phased. We're in different phases. Yeah. You hit tab and then number one, and it'll tab target for you. All right. Didn't think about that. I just figured that one out and went, oh, wow. You know, I thought about that, but I wasn't sure if that would work. Oh, yeah. That goes a lot quicker. Uh-huh. Slain. 
because if he get hit in the tab, did he get a, a merchant face? Works really well. Yeah, yeah, I've got the defenders. I got all mine. I am returning. Merchants. You just keep going around. I fun. know. All these defenders, not enough merchants. Yeah. Ratio's out of balance. Of course, I mean, granted, you did have to kill more of the defenders. So. Yeah. Okay, the merchants are on those little platforms. Yeah, but they're also kind of intermingled amongst the defenders. Every once in a while, they look like just regular night elves. So when their portrait comes up, they're the only ones that aren't wearing a white hat. Not enough merchants. That's all I can say. Yep. Or at least not for the three of us running around. It's starting to become a bit more. Yeah. Yeah, because now it's going faster now that there's not several people trying to pick off the same things, right? Yep. Okay, one more was over there because I saw him. And there we are. <laughs> nice that it shortcuts us back to Furian's post. Anaria Shola. Sounds like the southern wind got up under your skirt, sir. <laughs> <laughs> We oh, have, I hit that one a little while ago. We have plenty of enemies in this region without raising the ire of the Cenarian Circle. When we established our post here, we were asked to keep watch over one of their researchers. Koro was last seen at the Tower West. Do be a dear and pay her a visit. It's been some time since we've bothered to check on her. We will have justice. Still got time to the tower. Ooh, I got a blue reward. I think I'm. I do need to put that on. Yeah, mine was blue too. So. Yeah, I guess. Oh, but I'm carrying a staff. 
and it was an off hand, so. Uh, oh, I got a cloak. I got an, they called it a collar, but I guess you'd classify it as a necklace. Mm -hmm. All right, so we go into peace of mind, or we're going to Ethel Rether. Ethel Rether. Yeah, that one's got a flight path. Not one we've discovered, but... the right way to get to this place <laughs> so we should have come in from the front yeah all right so we're gonna drop our mounts and run around there. well sam's over there making friends <laughs> i was thinking it was on the coast but now that would be shadow prey village <laughs> Not eat love pray village. Nope. <laughs> it is not. I mean when you come down in here it, it dinged as the right place. Ethel Rethor. Mm-hmm. Oh wait. There's a there's Hello. Yep. yep. Hello. We here we are. Yep. Oh, you going around? Okay. Let's see the forest for the trees. Ah, I've been expecting you. I am all that remains of my company sent to monitor the changes on the coast of Desolus. I have reported of the dramatic increase of Naga here, but to no effect. My peers are focused on the other crises, so I must ask you, a stranger, to assist me in my research. First, though, you must show, you must allow me to show you the threat we face. Coral wants you to speak with your when you're ready to be shown and the Naga threat. Over you. What brings you here? And you're basically going to get thrown on a mountain and fly around. <laughs> fly like a grip <laughs> over the sea. <laughs> Don't quit your day job. Yeah, not yet. Wow. They are all over the place. 
place, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Sea giant. Gracious. gonna be a boss. Well, not boss, but she'll be a witch. No, it's a B word, all right. But <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and there's that little island out there. Yep. Oh, I remember running around this place in classic. Mm -hmm. Before the cataclysm happened, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, what's funny is it looked a lot like it does now. Well, with the exception of that smoldering fire over there. <laughs> that wasn't there, but... Yeah, got a good point. Yeah, because... Yeah, this has got Lord Hadronis. He's fighting the... The sea witches. I think there's some stuff you have to do underwater here, too. Oh, oh in classic, it was this area over here, right off the coast of uh, Shadow Prey Village, that you would um, farm for the coveted big iron fishing pole. <laughs> it was a white item, but it had unheard of stats. For fishing. Wow. Well, that's why they call me. I'm a white item. They call me Big Iron. <laughs> Would you keep it on your hip anyway? Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> that one was a stretch, but still. <laughs> yeah. Um, time and time again, the Naga have proven to be enemies of the balance of nature. I have no qualms with the spilling of their blood. Your best efforts, though, would barely put a dent in their forces here. Where one falls, two seem to take its place. I have a plan. Your objective is to not merely take the lives of the enemy, but to gather the components necessary for the next stage in our investigation. Collect 10 Slitherblade bones from Slitherblade Naga, 30 Slitherblade scales from Slitherblade sorceresses, and 4 Slitherblade flin fins from the Slitherblade warriors. Winds be at your back. <laughs> you know, now we gotta figure out where where we need to go back and for an end because end. we have because to go back to the same end that we've been at <laughs> yeah we don't have anything we've not picked up any other ends since then exactly oh no what okay where where we are we go to uh Carnum's Glade. There's an inn there and a flight path. Okay, I don't see that on the map. It's a nice green center of Desolus. I see the Cenarian Wildland. Yes, that's where it's located. Uh, okay. If you know how to get us there, then I think we'd have a little bit of time to run a smidge over to get to an inn. Yeah, well, we fly down to Furion's post and then just run the, the, the road. Okay. Yep. Have to find it again. Oh, it's right on top of... It's hard to click. There's a big green boot. And, and then you come slightly off of it, and you get Furion's post. Oh, okay. There we are. So we're going there, and then we're taking a different road to the... Gotcha. Yeah. <clears throat> of course, you could also click on the landscape around it, zooms in, and separates the boots. Yes. Well, Lee, you're taking point on this. 
Okay. Did you know where you're going? Let's see. Yeah, too bad I can't do the, uh, the Grand Ice Mammoth and say, here, take the reins. <laughs> I know you've seen this one before, Sam, but and I, I think I may have even shared it, but I'm I'm quite confident you've seen it before, and I was telling Oriana about it. But it's a picture of an old like Model T, and the guy's running down the road, and the back left tire has come off, and it's about to surpass him, and it, the captioning is Jesus, not that wheel. <laughs> okay, that's cute. <laughs> When you put the Vlad the Impaler of <laughs> sees marshmallows, I'd seen that a couple of years ago. It's like, oh, that old mm. classic. I hadn't seen that in a while. <laughs> yeah. I hadn't actually seen it before. We're just going to try to outrun them. <laughs> yes, they're going to light up our butts with lightning, probably. Are these the lightning ones? Or the no, no, these are rejuvenated. Wait a minute. This is Scenarian. Are they... They? They're they're good guys. They're neutral. Yeah, they're the the nice druids. They're the kumbaya druids. And looky there, we got a flight path. Yep. And, and quest. Well, I would wait and take those later. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Where's the end? Yeah. Over Probably over there. Somewhere over here. I'm trying to. Okay, we have reagents. Find the mailbox, you'll find them. I know, but I'm not seeing a mailbox on the mini map. This place has got to have reagents. Oh, it does. Okay. Find it? Yep. Found it. Yep. What brings you here? You can also look for the stable master. Ooh, what's that nice crystal in the background? But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Probably death. <laughs> the way things go here. Oh, that's pretty. It kills you. Yeah. It's our security system, but you don't yeah. have a door that locks. Don't matter. It's a security system. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we don't need one. <laughs> but anyway, with that, I'm going to wrap this one up. If you guys want to follow all of our other Let's Plays, head on over to tscn.tv slash play. And if you want to find all the VODs for this, head on over to tscn.tv slash VOD. So until next time, play on and see you guys. Toodles. Zug, zug. <laughs> Job's done. <laughs> <laughs>